Hey, welcome to my channel Industry 4.0. Today, in this video, I shall teach you what is Jamstack. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's start the video. Introduction Jamstack, formerly formalized as JAMstack. It stances for JavaScript, API, and markup. That was created by a static site generator. It was first thought up by Matthias Billman, CEO of Netlify, in 2015. The application logic characteristically be present in on the client side in Jamstack websites. For instance, embedded e-commerce counter that relates with pre-rendered static content, deprived of being firmly attached to the back-end server. They are generally helped with Git-based CMS or headless CMS. Netlify arranges a conference every year named Popular Jamstack. That is co-hosted midst others by Versal and Cloudflare pages. The Jamstack is an architectural pattern. It is not a framework as defined by Jamstack.org. Description JAMstack is a stretch that defines a modern web development architecture. It is built on JavaScript, APIs, and markup, Jam. JAMstack isn't an exact technology. Then somewhat it is a changed way of building apps and websites. A JAMstack site ruptures up the code as an alternative of using a traditional CMS or site builder. It splits up the code instead of using the site infrastructure, APIs, and the content, markup. These would all be touched in a decoupled architecture. These will be controlled by a vibrant split between server-side and client-side. It intensely decreases the number of requests sent to a server by doing so. It, therefore, removes a lot of the waiting time that comes with a server controlling a request and sending it back to the client. Benefits of JAMstack A JAMstack architecture may bring all types of benefits to the sites and to project workflows. Nearly of the main benefits are Benefits of JAMstack Security the Jamstack eradicates many moving parts and systems from the hosting infrastructure. That is subsequent in fewer servers and systems to stabilize against the outbreak. Helping pages and assets as pre-generated files enable read-only hosting dropping outbreak vectors even supplementary. For the meantime, dynamic tools and services may be supplied by vendors with teams devoted to make safe their precise systems and provided that high levels of service. Scale General architectures contract by heavy traffic loads with adding logic to cache widespread views and resources. The Jamstack delivers this by default. There is no difficult logic or workflow to govern what assets may be cached and when sites may be helped completely from a CDN. Everything may be cached in a content delivery network by Jamstack sites with simpler deployments. These can be cached to content by built-in redundancy and unbelievable load capacity. Performance Page loading speeds have an influence on user experience and conversion. Jamstack sites eliminate the requirement to create page views on a server at request time as an alternative creating pages ahead of time during a build. By all the pages are now available on a CDN near to the user and ready to serve, very high performance is possible without introducing expensive or complex infrastructure. Maintainability Now, there is no need for a team of experts due to pre-generated sites being served directly from an easy host or from a CDN. The generated site is stable. It may be hosted without servers that might need patching, updating, and maintain. As the work was executed during the build. Portability Jamstack sites are completely pre-generated. 
We may host them from a wide diversity of hosting services and have greater ability to move them to our favorite host. In the least simple static hosting solution should be able to serve a Jamstack site. Great developer experience. We get all the flexibility in the world as a developer since we can select our own tech stack. Developers may do their thing without worrying about the limitations of a sure platform or technology. It's flattering a lot easier to reuse functionality across multiple websites or applications with the rise of microservices and reusable APIs. JAMstack versus a traditional CMS. The major difference between a JAMstack website and a website built with a content management system is by what means firmly the content, code, and design are associated. We'll be handling with a CMS everything in the similar system. We'll have a back-end interface where our developers would be controlling all of the code and design templates. Our content would similarly be created, updated, and managed from a back-end interface. It will all be kept in databases on a server. It would be gathered by the server and delivered to the visitor and the page is shown once a page on the website is visited. JAMstack versus a traditional CMS. We're decoupling all of these parts and handling them distinctly with a JAMstack site. This decreases any dependency and provides us the freedom to select our own tech stack. One main difference is how pages are created for a website visitor. We're nearly completely depending on the client side instead of the server side with a JAMstack site. Our pages will be stored in a cache, typically using a CDN, as HTML and JavaScript. Those would be ready and waiting for the visitor to come by. It'll all be prepared for it to handle once a visitor visits our page without having to go back to the server and assemble it. Why use the JAMstack architecture? The core reason to go with JAMstack as an alternative to a traditional approach to website development is to go by way of serverless as possible. By taking away as many different tasks as thinkable and pushing them to the client in its place to enable fewer server requests. This is for better performance and faster load times. The key way to do that is to deliberate of the tech stack in a changed way than earlier. The standard way of talking about a tech stack is to remark operation systems and databases. The level that is really the real constraint on a project we as an alternative focus on a different level of the tech stack with JAMstack. Why use the JAMstack architecture? These constraints are divided into three core parts. JavaScript in the browser by way of the universal runtime layer to give additional functionality and dynamic behavior. APIs to change the database and fetch everything we require directly from the services needed. Markup to help the real website content and HTML needed. 